Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond! Last time on Chibi Robo, we showed off our Tau cosplay and tried scaring a bunch of free rangers with it to make them stronger! Cause that makes sense! We also opened the peephole in the bedroom which will allow us to enter at night when the door is closed. And lastly, we started our journey to the top of the castle to return the princess's shoe, but unfortunately failed. So let's get back to work on episode 16 of Let's Play Chibi Robo! Okay, as per usual, we are going to start our day off by going to the Eat Chibi PC. And we're gonna go and buy ourselves a brand new car! No, seriously, we're buying the Hot Rod! Alright, and now we're also going to go to the Recyclotron and get the Foyer Warp! The most useful utility bot ever! So that ladder in the foyer that we just made is completely useless now. Well, not completely, but whatever. This is going to allow us to get upstairs much faster. Because we're going to drive up the stairs, guys! No, not really, unfortunately. We can't do that. Jimmy Rubble, put your scrap into the Recyclotron! Alright, warps are another type of utility bot. It warps you from one area to another. It, like, just automatically. It's like the most awesome and useful one. Unfortunately, there's only two in the game, but they're in very good areas. Alright, so, utility bot... I'll set it up out in the foyer! You do that, Telly. You do that. Alright, starting our day off in the living room. I believe it's... Daytime right now? I can't remember, it's actually been a while since I've recorded, so let's find out. It is nighttime, okay, so yeah, we opened the people into Mrs. Sanderson's room, so now we'll be able to go in there at night. But first things first, first order of business is that we want to go to the backyard now that we have the squirter. Something very important that we need to get there right now. So wish I had done this earlier just because, but I just forgot about it, so we're going outside immediately. Alright, go to the backyard, load it up. Okay, now with the squirter, as uh, we heard before, we could pull up water with it and squirt water with it. Uh, first, we need to get water in order to squirt it, so let's just go look for some water. Because if you can see over here, there is a dead frog. Or just a very dried up frog. So, let's try and help it out and give it some water, I guess. Because apparently it doesn't rain here or anything, or... Like, Morning Dew doesn't exist in Chibi Robo Land. Alright. So, suck that up, and I like how the face changes on Sunshine depending on, like, how much water you have in the squirter. Alright, so we're just gonna go over here now. And squirt it, I guess. Rainier. Ribbit. Frida just gave me seven happy points! Spread the happiness! Okay, apparently it's name is Frida. Whoa. Wow, she got life in her a lot quickly. A lot quickly, that's a great sentence. And one more for good measure. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. Frida just gave me 13 happy points. Spread the happiness. Nice work, way to go, Chippy Robo. Um. The frog seems to be saying something. I don't understand this strange language. Uh, wait, what's this? A frog suit? Um, okay. Wow! Thank you, Ribbit. I'm fine now, thanks to you. My boyfriend's lost in that house, and I'm tired of waiting around, Ribbit. Now that you're one of us, you can speak Ribbitese too! Cool, huh? Isn't it just the greatest, Ribbit? Now that we can communicate, I have to ask you a favor. Could you please find my lost boyfriend, Ribbit? He's probably collapsed somewhere, all alone without even a flat to eat, Ribbit. If you find him, I want you to bring him here. I'm counting on you, Ribbit! Hop, 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 wee! Okay, so now we have the frog suit, which has the most important action of all time, ribbiting! That's about it. So yeah, now we can talk to frogs, not only frogs, but we can talk to animals. So any other animals we find in the game, we can talk to. Except for Tau, it's weird. The frog suit allows us to talk to any animal except for Tau. The Tau suit allows us to talk to Tau. Spoilers! Yeah, so we can talk to Tau if we want with the frog suit, but it's nighttime, time, so he's sleeping, so we're not going to do that. Because we can't. Alright, so, first order of business, or second order of business, I guess, now that we have the frog suit, we are going upstairs, and I think we're gonna get, go back into Jenny's room, just cuz, so. Alright, so we're just gonna go in here. 
And actually, I know, I think uh, I got a better idea of what we're going to be doing. So, we have the Giga Battery with us, so we're going to go bring it down the stairs and show it to Flankbeard, I guess, and hear his story. Because we promised we'd hear his story, but we never ended up hearing it. So, I'm a man of my word, so we're just going to go down there now, and here's that new shiny foyer warp. It warps us upstairs immediately. It is the coolest thing ever of all time. I don't know. And somebody's mowing the grass outside. That's great. All right, whatever. All right, let's go into the basement. It's been a while since we've been down here, so... All right. Let's load it up, and let's just jump down, I guess, and take off the frog suit because I want it on. All right. And down we go. Probably should have taken the happy box, but whatever. It's not really that imperative. All right. So, now that we have the uh, Giga Battery, let's give it to Giga Robo. Ahoy there, Chibi! Have you truly filled that hulking battery? You're an amazing piece of work. But you've not yet found Giga Robo's missing leg, have ye? Captain Blankbeard just gave you 100 happy points! Spread the happiness! Out with it, Giga Robo! What have you done with your leg, matey? You're, what am I saying? You've no tongue to speak with. So even though we have the Giga Battery installed now, he still can't activate himself. I guess we do need his leg. Alright then, so let's talk to Blinkbeard and hear his story, I guess. Ahoy there, Chibi! It's good to see ya, laddie! Been long and on it has. So you've come to hear this old salt's tale, have ye? Yes, we have. Alright, sit ye back and get ready for a whale of a tale! Hold on! I'm here to keep my promise too! Ahoy there, squid bait! You're looking ship shape today! Get it ship shape, he's a square. Nee. Squid bait! Squid bait! Hey, squid bait, now simmer down! What I'm about to tell ye happened many years ago, when the world was young and color didn't exist, and we had lots of loading screens for no apparent reason. That fateful day, I found a doubloon gleaming like a wee lassie's eyes. And the salty scourge of the seas that I was. I decided to seize this shiny treasure for myself. Oh, a pretty treasure it was. However, the Sandersons were so poor he could hear their bellies rumbling like thunder. Gigarobo blamed himself for their troubles, I he did. Every pirate swears to be as evil as a barnacle into bed. It be our code. But I couldn't even steal one measly doubloon. Arr, a foul humiliation it was. As you know, pirates who aren't evil end up at theme parks. It be terrifying. Or they become amazing anime characters. I hid me shipping and furined myself in the briny dark oot basement. Your to Sanderson's be out of moolah and can't be buying food. I'm betting they be dead. <laughs> Um, actually, the Sanderson family is doing just fine. They might not be rich, but they were at least able to buy us. And we're not exactly bargain basement items, if I do say so myself. I like how he just drinks so he could do a spit take. Gahar, what's that you be saying? 
You seriously haven't gone upstairs these whole years just for the heck of it? You don't know they're alive? So they'd not have been troubled if I claimed Tamula I found as my own? I heard that Mr. Sanderson has been working and finances are kind of tight. But if it's just a little, I'm not. it's not a problem. <laughs> Do you know what this means? I'm no longer bowed to this dank backwater! There's treasure in this house, laddies, and I means to find it. Hoist the mainsail, me hearties! Mainsail? Um, don't you need a ship first? Shiver me timbers, I forgot! I'm not a teeny to me name! I put me ship in dry dock so as to keep her safe, but me head's full of fog and me ship's lost. Hear me only hope, Chibi. I want you to find me ship and bring her home. A pirate in need is a pirate who gets what he wants. That's the pirate's code, you see. That doesn't seem right somehow. <laughs> Don't think so, eh? You fancy yourself a great thinker, don't you, you flying chum bucket? If you're half as keen as you think, you'll keep your blowhole shut! Pirates are not accustomed to waiting! Now go find me ship! Yes sir, Captain, Captain sir! Well, let's go look for the ship, Chibi Robo. I'll go on ahead and scout around. You ain't gonna do diddly squat, Telly. Alright, whatever, let's just kill ourselves, because I don't like Telly. And because it's easier to get back to the basement. Or, get back to the basement, get back to the living room that way. Because I don't want to climb up all these stinking stairs. Are you alright, Chibi Robo? I left you alone for five seconds and this is what happens? You're useless without me, Chibi Robo. Whatever. Alright, back to the Chibi house. We might have gone up a ranking after the hundred happy points we got from Mr. Sand- Mr. Plankbeard, jeez, what is with me? Okay. All right, we're alive. Don't freak me out like that. Let's adjust your happy point total. Your chibi ranking has gone from... 43 to 20! In order to get an next bonus battery, you need 48 more happy points. While well, you're here, Jimmy Rebel, would you like to save? No! Okay, so... Now that we're back here, the... Uh, I probably in hindsight could have gotten the ship oh, a little while ago hint hint that's where the ship is it's in the backyard so i probably could have gotten it back there but i was stupid forgot about it so yeah i wasn't planning on going to the basement i guess so that's why i didn't go back there or go down there whatever or whatever i don't know words how do they work stinking words how do they work stinking creative commentary how does it work i don't know Alright, so I just finished New Super Luigi U, so I got around to playing Rayman Legends. Yeah, I wanted to finish that before, for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and I just gotta say, like, I'm having so, so much fun with that game. Like, Rayman Legends, we just, um, real quick we're just gonna dig up the ship and then we're gonna, uh, find out. Um, I'm just gonna talk about Rayman Legends real quick. So yeah, the ship is actually buried right here, you can see it's a little, um, flag right here. So we have the spoon and we're gonna dig it up, I guess. Right. It's two scoops, and it just rises up more and more. I don't know how that works. And three scoops! Ooh, spooky! How the heck did he even bury this thing? Now we're all ready to be king of the pirates! I don't know. Pretty epic, if I do say so myself. Okay. How are we gonna get this to Captain Plankbeard, you ask? Well... We're gonna carry it, of course! And put it in our head! Yeah! The scurvy splinter fits in our stinking head. Like seriously, Chibi Robo has like the best containment storage system ever. He like he's just 
you can't compare to Chibi Robo. He's just like too Chuck Norrisy for you, just of how much he could carry. Like you can't even comprehend how awesome he is. All right, so I understand a lot of people were really angry about um not being able to play Rayman Legends because of the delay and everything, like the super huge eight month delay. And granted, I am I was angry about that. I was like furious. I was also upset that I was going on all three platforms. It would have been really good for the Wii U to have this game, like really good, just because of how amazing it is. And it is amazing, that's why I decided to still get it, like, I'm not going to, like, hate Ubisoft, well, first off, it wasn't even Ubisoft's fault, um, just remember that, a lot of people are just, um, putting blame in the wrong direction, and stuff, it's not really fair, so, like, it's just, I feel it's easier or just better to be happy with, like, just be happy as a gamer, and don't be, like, so mad as, like, a consumer, I guess I want to say, I don't, know how to put it exactly but just like spend your time like just being happy with games like don't be so mad at uh, the companies or anything or just anyone for something the game is here now and it is awesome so you really owe it to yourself to check it out it is fantastic so like seriously i think you just should play it and enjoy yourselves it's a fantastic game i'm loving it so far all right blink beard buddy i'm back what's that chibi have you found me long lost ship already yeah it was actually pretty easy because i played this game before the scurvy splinter, oh my god. How did we fit this thing in our head? And it vibrates the controller for some reason. Just so incredibly epic controller shaking madness. Controller shaking madness again, apparently. Oh, miss, is this your ship? No, Telly, it's just. Stinking poop mobile! I don't know! Your it be mine, you floating kelp cube! That's me scurvy splinter! Me ship, you've earned me thanks! Captain Blinker just gave you 66 happy points! Spread the happiness! There's treasure awaiting him, me thinks I'll be getting me some! So he's finally getting out of the basement. Mm. I says there's treasure awaiting! Anchors away, me hearties! Yar. <laughs> I love that. Yar. Barnacles and bilge pumps! I've got no blasted crew! What? I love how dramatic the music is every single time he finds out he's missing something. Alright then, there's only one thing to do. I need you to find me some brave lads who yearn for a life of swashbuckling adventure. If you find me four men brave and true, I'll... I'll... Yes? I'll have no choice but to give you me treasure map. Got it! One pirate crew coming up! Come on, Chibi Robo, let's get out there and find our- find four crewmen for Captain Blankbeard! Courage, me lads, courage! Stupid Tully trying to be a pirate and stuff. Why don't you join him, like, just be the swabby on board or something. Now, I normally wouldn't use the trauma suit again because I was planning on going upstairs, but he just gave us 66 happy points so we could get the upgrade bonus battery now, so we're gonna go do that. Alright, Chibi Robo! Yum, 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 yum. Whatever. Alright, back here... There's like mo more times I've used the trauma suit than any playthrough of Chibi Robo, it's crazy. Alright. Oh, Chibi Robo! Oh, you're alive? Wow, I wasn't seeing that coming! Don't freak me out like that! Let's adjust your happy point total! Your Chibi ranking has gone from... 20 to 10! For making it to the top 10! Sit yourself to send you a special gift and brand new bonus battery! Whoa, would you look at that! Your battery power went up to 180! In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 477 more happy points! Jeez. When you're here, Chibi Robo, would you like to save? No, Telly! When will you learn? I do not ever want to save. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for watching. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I'll see you all later for more Chibi Robo. Good night.